Hello, New Hope. This is Pastor Weaver. I just want you to know how much I love you guys. The pastors love you. It's been a difficult season, and we're doing our best to make decisions full of faith and prudence, kindness, joy, uh, encouragement. We're not going to shrink back at all. We're going to move forward. And uh, I just want to encourage you in the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength, not the joy of our circumstances. What happens, we can't control, but how we respond to it, we surely can. And throughout the history of mankind, there have been horrible things uh, that have happened. And we can even think back just to World War II and things around the world that took place that horrendous, that there's nothing comparable exactly right now. However, America is a little different than other parts of the country, of the world rather, because there are countries where Christians are being put to death, burned, and you name it. And uh, that's a concern, and, and it appears that our world is not paying much attention to that. We have the freedom to gather. We have the freedom to worship. We value that. Some of you uh, need to... to uh, continue watching at home and you're doing that. We hope you will continue to do that. Please stay engaged. And I want to encourage you to put Jesus first. You know, the Old Testament calls uh, our tithe the first fruits. Uh, making Jesus Lord is putting Jesus first. Jesus said that we're to love him even more than our own life, our wife, our children, our family, anything else. That's putting him first. And when I think about our life, I think of time. Do we put God first with our time or is most of our time ours and we give him a measure of time on a Sunday morning? And when it comes to giving, Malachi instructs us that uh, we're to not rob God with our tithes and our offerings, both. The tithe being what we belongs to the Lord. The Bible calls the tithe belonging to God. Our offerings is God's spirit leads us. And if we're going to put God first and make Jesus Lord and honor God with our life and die to ourselves daily and take up the cross and follow him, then it should be a natural thing to worship God in giving. And even though we're going through COVID and we're not able to gather, so many of you have done that. It's amazing. But if you, I, I don't know because we can't see what people give, nor do I want to know. But I felt in my heart to say to you, don't quit being faithful. Be faithful to God in bringing the tithe into the storehouse, into the church, that the work of the church can go forward. And I'm the one that can say it to you very clearly because it's a blessing, it says in Malachi, and quite the opposite when you withhold that. Because I think the tithe represents the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in the garden. God said, all of this is yours, but not that. Don't touch that. So what did Satan want to do? Touch that. And when you touch the 10% that belongs to God and you're not giving it to God and to, through your church because a tithe is something you pay, you don't, you don't designate it, you don't go, oh, I think I'll send my tithe to grandma. It's not biblical. It belongs in the storehouse, the church, to do the work of the Lord. It's the way God financed his kingdom and the work to move forward. And we are going to move forward and we're going to see many souls saved. I believe that this spring we're going to see the church begin to once again flourish and more people, more people come together and we're going to be able to be together more and more and more. And we're going to see a harvest like we've never seen because the world has been awakened that death, death doesn't care how rich you are. Death doesn't care how healthy you are. Death doesn't care the position you hold in life. Death doesn't care how poor you are. Death comes to anyone, anytime. You're one breath away. And that's how the Bible teaches us to live. Live with faith, for planning for the future as if you're going to live a long, long life. But also live as if this is the last day of your life that you're giving Jesus to everyone. It involves putting Him first with your time, putting Him first with your tithe and your giving, putting Him first with your gifts. Use your gifts to God. So many people use their gifts for things that are just temporary and, and they've used them and they may feel good about it, but in the long run, eternal, nothing eternal for eternity matters. And then not only your gifts, but work. You see, that's one thing that, that a lazy, uncommitted church won't do is work for God. Because there's things that we use that are our gifts. 
you know, my buddy Joel that's recording me, he's a drummer. He has a lot of gifts. But he, he's not just someone that will just use gifts. He doesn't mind getting his hands dirty and doing work. And there are ministry things that take work. The flowers, the yard, the snow, the cleaning of the church. You clean and you pray as you clean. There's ministry and work, right, side by side. And I want to tell you, church, you're awesome at working. You're awesome at working. And I want to encourage you to keep it up. Don't turn back. Don't look to the side. Keep your eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, like the Word says. And let's move for, forward putting Jesus first. Every person that calls New Hope a member of their church, put Jesus first in every one of these areas. We're going to move forward. We're going to see great things. We are so excited about the future of this church. God is going to help us. And if you need us, you pick the phone up and call. If we can help you anyway, you pick the phone up and call. It's a difficult season because we don't see 70, 80% of you every Sunday that we can see how things are going. We got to get a hold of you and you don't want to bother us and call us. So we're trying to stay in touch. And I know that we're missing people and we're not able to do that as effectively as we want to. So please trust our hearts. If you need anything, pick up the phone and call, call us. We love you. We're praying for you. Let me pray right now in Jesus name. I pray for every person watching this, the Holy Spirit would put a, 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 your presence around them, a hedge around them, a protection, and bless them beyond measure in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, that you would keep them, bless them in all they do, God, and keep them, God, and heal those that need to be healed and encourage those that are downhearted, those that are finding it difficult as time goes on and on not to be able to be close to family and close to people because of this COVID thing. And I pray in Jesus' name, encourage their hearts. Let joy fill their life, God. Bless them beyond measure. And may this December, we think of you, Jesus, all the day long, how you came into the darkness to bring light. You came where there was death to bring life, eternal life, that Jesus, you are the way, the truth, the life, and you love us. And you have a great, a great eternity in store for us. So let's not be foolish. God, help us. Help us by your spirit to live today for the things that death can't take away, that money can't buy, that's eternal. It lives on forever after us to live for those things so that we serve you with all of our heart, putting you first in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and thank you today for joining me.